Now, stage zero life sciences is tackling one of the biggest problems facing society, which is cancer and its prevention. Uh, in your competitive landscape, what advantages does stage zero have and what is the main growth drivers? Yeah, so the main advantage that we have is that we have one of the only um, early cancer screening tests. And by early cancer, I mean that we, we preferentially, in fact, find cancer in stage one and stage two. We find it in stage three and stage four as well. But um, as we screen for cancer, we're, we're uniquely positioned to find early stage cancer. And we do that with a single blood test and we, we look for multiple of what are the most common cancers today. Um, second to that, we couple it with um, the AVRT program, which is our um, care oncology group, where we look at the metabolic pathways that underlie the development of cancer. That's also the, the pathways that underlie the development of a lot of chronic diseases. But by um, being able to measure those, by being able to track them, if you flag red or flag amber, we can then give you um, interventional programs that in actual fact look to reduce, um, reduce those biomarkers and return you to normal. That's the preventative strategy that underlies preventing about 40% of cancers today. Um, I think that's the for us, we're, we're very unique. We combine those. We're, we're literally the only group, I believe, that actually has end-to-end -end solutions. So we can do everything from screening for early stage cancer. Um, the metabolic pathway aspect too is very unique. All of this is overseen by oncologists on our side, as are the interventional programs. And so as we go out to our target markets, for example, which are everything from individual patients through clinic systems, through lab groups, but notably to employers, notably self-funded employers, um, we're literally the only group that can tie it all together. We can find it, we can help treat it, we can help prevent it. Mm -hmm.